What's up everyone, The Network Berg here. Hope you've been doing well. This video will be a little bit different than our usual tutorial videos we cover on this channel. I actually want to discuss which networking certifications you should pursue in the year 2020. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. The first vendor obviously is the big giant in the room and I'm sure you've heard of them before. It's called Cisco and they offer the CCNA which I think becomes really valuable in 2020. Reason being is they are reworking the CCNA so from the 24th of February you will be able to write the new CCNA which actually mushes all of the current CCNAs together so you'll be learning a bit about uh, routing and switching, you'll be learning about wireless, you'll be learning about security, and you'll be learning about automation, which will become a very useful skill indeed in the next few years in the networking field. So I really think Cisco's at the forefront of those type of things. Another reason why I would recommend getting your CCNA, it opens doors for you, man. Come on. So whenever you apply for a job, I can promise you 90% of the times the recruiters or the company will be looking to see if you have a CCNA. So get it out of the park, get that CCNA because it does really help you get your foot into the door with a job. It doesn't guarantee you get that job, but it helps, trust me. So Cisco, again, get that CCNA. It, it gives you a, a, a lot of exposure in different fields and it's also going to help you get that job if that's what you're trying to do. So next one, <laughs> second big vendor. I'm sure if you've been in inside a network job already and you've been busy working and you're in, I, in an ISP or maybe in a telecommunications company, you might have heard of something called Juniper. So Juniper is also a relatively big vendor and their big thing is also looking after enterprises and ISPs and telecommunication companies. So it, it offers you carrier grade networks. And that's the point I want to stress. It, it's a little bit more cost effective than putting down a bunch of Cisco's and Juniper really carries its weight. It also makes use of a command line based uh, interface to configure the devices on, but it's something worthwhile to have, especially if you're going into that field. So I would definitely recommend getting your JNCIA. That's the entry level certification. It, offer, it focuses on Junos. That's the first cert you'll be looking at, which deals with the CLI just spoke about that's the operating system just to make sure you're familiar with it and that you can configure juniper routers and switches without any issues next up it's the Mikrotik router so Mikrotik is also a company that is based in latvia um, these guys make really cost effective networking equipment so they cater more towards wisps or wireless isps if you don't know what that is uh, but what I love about Mikrotik is you can buy these things, you can put them down at your CEs, your customer edge or customer equipment, and your customer can connect to these devices. And they are about a tenth of the price for anything a Cisco or uh, a Juniper would offer you. And it, do it does the same thing. It does BGP, it does OSPF, it does QoS, it does everything that you actually want at that site. So that's really one reason I would recommend you can go get that MTCNA, that is the certification. Um, and when you go for the MTCNA, it's really different to how the other vendors do it. Instead of um, learning or studying months for an exam, Mikrotik expects you to kind of already know these things when you go for the exam and then you, you sit in for a training course. And generally these training courses run for something between two to four days. It varies from trainer to trainer. So you go to this trainer, you sit in a classroom, they go through all of the course material with you it's like a little mini boot camp. It's really cool, actually. And then at the end of the course, you get to write the exam. And if you pass it, you're MTCNA qualified. So that's really cool, I think. So again, if you're looking to move into the WISP space, maybe create your own WISP, you know, get people to connect to you wirelessly and give them internet. I would definitely recommend getting that Mikrotik certification. Okay, so that about covers the three big vendors I wanted to talk about. There's definitely more vendors you could look at, but I feel like these vendors will keep you busy for the next year. If you want to study hard and you, you want to go really hard, then I mean, you could also maybe look at getting like Howie. Howie is going to make some really decent headway in the networking space as well, especially when it comes to 5G and even 6G in the future. So definitely another vendor I could recommend. 
but I would suggest the first three that I mentioned, look at getting those certifications. If you're getting into the networking field and you're looking for a place to start, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.